Hello, hello, and welcome to the Introverted Manager. Today, we'll be building another, let's say, completion, visualization, or progress column chart. You probably seen my progress circles before this one. So this is just another, let's say, variation of how can you visualize progress versus target. And it's based on SVGs. You don't need any custom visuals and setup is quite easy. You don't have to come up with SVG from scratch. I'll post it in video notes where you can find it on my GitHub. So let's set it up from scratch. I will walk you through the whole process. Let me make new page. Let's add some background, dark one. I decided to make it darker this time around, maybe even darker and let's put some transparency. Okay, now let's add, and actually, this is based on metrics, regular metrics. So let's add, add it to the canvas. Okay, let's center it. Okay, now if you watch my previous video, you will be familiar with this trick, right? Where I need to put category headers in the middle of the cell. I'm doing this by using padded header calculated column, which basically adds empty character with line break. Here I need to use two of those and appended category. Let's add it as our rows. Okay, good. For now, we'll not see much. Doesn't look like much. But we can already, let's see, remove the title and let's just add empty space. Will look much better already. Okay, after doing that, let's add my SVG measure. Call completion bar, as I called it. Let's add it. But as we can see here, doesn't look good. So what we need to add more is our columns. For this, I will use date which is formatted as just month's name, short month's name. Let's go to the measure and let's see how it works. Again, you don't have to come up from it from scratch. I will post it so you can just reuse it. At the bottom, you will need to specify your measure that you will be working with. In my case, it's percent completion. If you look at it, it's just simple division to calculate percentage between target and actual value. Okay, let's come back. Here, you will need to specify cell width and height, the one that you will be using in your metrics. So let's switch to metrics and actually set those numbers. 25 for width and 100 for height. So let's do that. We'll switch to metrics. We'll go to image size. For height, we'll specify 100, right? Because we have vertical bars. And for width, We'll specify 25 and let's see how it looks like. I think better already and we can change size back. We can probably remove total for now because we'll add subtotals, all of them. Okay. And I want to limit the categories that we're working with just for the sake of keeping it minimal. So let me switch here and let's remove, let's say we can remove books, we can remove sport because it doesn't have a lot of information and we can leave fashion and home appliances. So let's remove electronics. Okay, let's put it or put it at the center again. Okay, so what we'll need to do first, I'm always adding padding, more padding, the better to use negative space. Okay, 15 on all sides, good. For background, I think we need to go with something darker. Let's do, okay, mm, not dark enough. Let's go darker. Okay, let's add visual borders and round it. And let's use the same color. Okay, let's make it a bit wider and we need to style our matrix now so what we'll do is we have to remove all of those lines those will be borders 
Let me switch here. Let's remove this one. Let's switch to row headers. Let's remove this one. And for layout and style presets, you have to switch here and you have to do none because we don't want to see it. Now let's change colors for our headers, right? So column headers, color, let's change to white. Okay. And for row headers, same, let's change to white. Okay. Maybe you want to align it to the right, but I think the contrast isn't there yet. So we need to use darker background. So let's go back to size and style and put, let's say black or let's try here. Okay. Yes. I think that looks much better. Let's play with some transparency. Okay, maybe it is. Could work. And actually, I kind of like the visual borders, how they look like. And maybe let's add some shadow. But of course, it won't be dark shadow. We need to put some brighter shadow so it stands out on a dark background. And as usual, custom one, blur. Let's put 10, 90. And here, well, could be 80. Distance 5. Okay, yeah, I think it would work. And maybe we can also remove those white lines under month's names and on the right from category names. Let's go back to grid. Let's go back to border. Let's switch to row headers. Let's remove it all together. Let's switch to column header bottom. Let's remove it all together as well. They actually appeared after I switched stand preset. And yes. Let's play with this a bit. Also, make sure that for your column headers, it's aligned to the middle or title alignment to the middle. And we're mostly done. Stick with the video if you want to walk through the SVG measure itself. The main parts that you might need to customize here are cell width, cell height, right? The rest is calculated automatically. Now, besides that, you'll probably want to change colors to align with your color scheme. So this you will be doing in this section. And again, from here on out, the rest is automatic. And that's what you will get in the end. Subscribe and see you in the next one.